Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and right now we're beginning our campaign as a Chickasaw Muskegee Coalition, shall we? And we're led by Lushanya Harjo. Oh, if you like to read about her, go right ahead, but she's a casino heiress, and that's awesome. We have uh, National Spirits of Bright Lights, the support of our people, as well as a Three Nations Trade Center, but let's begin with the focus, the fog and the fire and the smoke. I read that wrong. When the bombs dropped, we were prepared. A collective effort of all of our people brought together funding, scientific knowledge, and engineering prowess, and spiritual guidance to keep us safe underground while the smoke and fire washed over the earth. Now, if you don't know about the, basically, the Chickasaw Muskegee Coalition, <clears throat> we are already in alliance with the Choctaw Nation, led by Nashoba Solomon. As well as the Cherokee Nation under Stanhope Shadow Mountain. So, uh, actually, all these focus trees are generally pretty much, ex well, not exactly the same, but they're super close to uh, being almost exactly the same. They're really close, not exactly, but they're really close. So, as you can see, I've already set up things off screen, but the time of smoke and fire. Our forefathers called the Great War the smoke time of smoke and fire. We survived by being prepared. The smartest people in our community foresaw a war coming and predicted it would be quick and end in total devastation on both sides. We built shelters, the mother mounds, not quite vaults, but good enough to let us survive comfortably with enough goods stored to bridge the time we needed to spend underground. What did we have in abundance? Food, weapons, entertainment. Well, I Ooh, that's a lot of that's a lot of stability. We're trying to make some bouncers here, which are 18 combat with divisions. We have no manpower, so that'd be really, really good. We've got a core population of uh, well, 50,000 people, and I guess we're mobilizing again some more. Oh, food! I kind of like the entertainment, though. I think I'll go with the entertainment because I love stability. But anyways, emerging from the earth once more, as our earliest ancestors emerged from the ground in the time of legends to claim these lands. So did we once more. So I chose this nation over the other two because we actually had the casino here. We love the casino because these the Choctaw and the Cherokee, they didn't have a casino. So it's unfortunate. Oh well. And I think that we pretty much all have the exact same amount of uh, manpower. But leaving the mother mounds. We knew we could not stay forever underground, but the surface was too dangerous for a while directly after the bombs dropped. How long do we stay underground? Five years. We get civilian workshop and less construction speed. Ten years for two workshops. Ooh. Three workshops. Oh, screw that. We, we spent a lot of time underground. The Accord. Separate in land, but together in spirits, we wrote down everything we needed to guide our nations into the future. Very nice. And currently we're building some more civilian factories, so we hurt ourselves a little bit more. But getting more consumer goods or... You know, factories to build, I think it's just better overall. And we've got enough resources for a while, too. The Accord of the First People's Junction. Efficient and protected construction allowed us to stay in contact with the other mother mounds while we were underground. As soon as we decided to come up to the surface again, we contacted the other groups to come together to discuss how to proceed further. This ended in us signing the Accord of the First People's Junction. What was the most important concept we wrote down? Safety or freedom? Cultural advisor costs. Cultural advisors cost minus Five percent? Oh, I like that guy. Look at that. An independent police force is what we need. I like plus point two five. Ain't too bad. Ear to the ground. Not bad. I like safety though. It's only five percent more division defense, but it's not on core territory. It happens anywhere. So, All right, now we get to choose what we want. Revisit the court of the First People's Junction, which will get more political power for everyone here, and we get and the First Nation that completes its focus all for all the members also gets twenty five extra political power, which is not bad. But we are unique in which we do have the casino. And I love going to casinos. It costs a lot of money, if you, depending on how much you want to spend, but a smart person would spend an appropriate amount. Right? Right. God, I wish I could open up a casino. A criminal element. Ooh. Unrest in the houses of the light. Ooh, ooh, that's not good. We lose political power? A night to remember. An independent... Ooh, I like that one. Yes, an independent police force is what I want. Protection has its price. Looking for, oh, look at that. Looking for love. Another net to remember. Looking for closure. Looking for revenge. Previous commitments. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Oh, this is a, this is a love story. Oh. Gain a total of 12 points of support for the two factions and your nations in this branch. These are required later to unlock more focuses. Plan ahead accordingly so you don't lock yourself out of something you might want. Clear the riverbanks of local fauna. Uh, rivers of commerce. Uh, the little naval stuff around here. River patrol boats, a little bit of manpower. What is it down here? Support the clans. 
Support the city dwellers. I don't know which one we want. Clan housing? Reclaim the skyscrapers. This looks really cool. So I'll be honest, I haven't played this off screen at all. I don't know what's going to happen. And actually the challenge recording, it's been a few, probably a few weeks or a couple days since I've actually played Old World Blue. So it's been a while. So I don't know which way I should go. What I want to do though is uh, maybe focus on the casino. So you know what? I normally ask you guys questions, especially in the first episode. Should we support the clans? Or should we support the city dwellers? I'll leave that up to you. And if with either side, let me know whether should we improve clan housing or reclaim skyscrapers, subsidize clan uh, farmsteads, farmsteads, clear the streets of rubble, organizing, uh, organize scavenging teams, and or open a black drink bottle plant. Let me know in the comments below because I'll leave that stuff up to you guys. This looks really cool, but I like to give you guys some options in my campaigns. Anyways, let's go ahead. You know what? I like extra political power. Revisit the Accord of the First People's Junction. While our nations have worked together for a long time now, large-scale cooperative projects were, rare th were a rare thing. Maybe it's time to change that. So, the mods we're using, as you can see at the top of the screen here, are the State Central Tool Mod, Flat of the Peace Conferences, Old World Blues, as well as Old World Blues Radio. And, ooh. Oh, we have freedom of speech, huh? Get more resistance target, though. How much political power are we getting? 1.38 isn't too bad. Let's see. So we already look at this. I want that police chief. I really do. Oh, but we get Mr. En Ooh, Mr. Entertainment. Oh, boy. And I want to let you know this is on historical. Uh, not a historical, but we are on historical focuses, historical nations, and stuff like that. Nothing different, nothing unique. So, economic, economic policy-wise or advisor-wise, damage garrison goes up. Aspen. Oh, boy. All right. All right. Trade genius. Sequoia Zarina. Not bad, but no, nah, gun runners, organizations, infantry equipment. That, oh, 20, only 5% more production costs for 20% more soft attack. That could be worth it. Let's grab some decryption, but we're also going to grab what? I'm thinking asymmetric warfare. We'll see in just a little bit. I want to make a more informed decision. We have gliders. I think it was already done before we even started playing. I want to grab more construction speed. That'll help offset the minus 5% we currently get from what we did. The three, no, what is this? Three Nations Trade Center. All three nations have invested heavily into a shared trade center at First People's Junction, and all will earn their share of the profits from it. Passive caps, nice. And actually, we had something... Oh, these are 90. Oh, not bad. Um, nothing here interesting or, you know, really unique, as well as here. What do we have up here? A local sheriff is not bad. I like defense on core territory. Yeah, that's not bad. Less damage garrisons is pretty good. Kind mercenary isn't too bad. Frontline operative is not too bad. And spy masters isn't too bad either. Ferry captains, pretty generic. Flyboy, Israel Deer... And that's pretty generic as well. Uh, just a dream. Oh, wait. oh, oh, full house tonight. Bobby and the mutt. Not, not mutt fruits. It's not mutt fruits. It's mute fruits. Played in front of a filled house. The electric mix of the ever so popular jazz interspersed with Luis Hunter playing his musical chainsaw found great appreciation from the audience. While it was a small venue, the ticket sales and food and drink consumed will be a nice bonus. Encore. Nice. Just a dream. Hopefully, um. I awoke, sudden drenched in sweat, on my lips, not a scream, but the last notes of a melody song, but which? I don't remember what I feel I have never heard it before. How could I sing it then? Images, visions? Came with it, already slowly fading as dreams do, as all dreams do. But I feel there was more to them than just a dream. Some importance, danger? I have to remember, there was a throne, a cell, maybe a coffin, maybe all of these beings were chained to it. The chains that were holding something also gave them power, terrifying power, but the chains were crumbling, torn apart though, maybe. The chains were ancient as were the beings. I feel the throne was somewhat in the west. Underground? But the beings on it were facing towards us with eyes that promised danger and death. The bad... Oh, no. I mean, we are ri literally right next to the chain choir, which, you know, sign me up with your chains first, Chorister. Oh, good lord. But, alright then. What do we have down here? Oop, let's disable that because we can. Nothing really too much here. We get some money. I love the money. Money's always good. Uh, and uh, this stuff is okay. Reference manuals. Let's grab some secret language. Cool. And, actually, let's come back over here. We might as well go to... Oh, we can't get there. We need more... We are... Oh, we are with the people support, huh? All right. To get over here, we need 50% more war support or ruler or elites. A part of the government has a trait. Warmonger. So, waste on economy isn't bad. I think I'll just go with funding the army. It hurts our caps a little bit, but... 5% more consumer goods. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Look at that political power. The expedition received a mysterious vision. We already have, though, I thought. Uh, let's see. Organize internal trade. Free trade between members... Infrastructure projects. The Little Brothers of War. Huh. Protect the caravans. 
Attract foreign caravan companies. Highways. Connect to smaller settlements. Passenger trains. You get manpower. Open. Oh. Reopen train stations. Train network. Nice. More factory construction speed. Economic growth. That's not bad. Let's see. Schooling for everyone. You get more political power into the pits. Monthly population. Clear out the raiders. A tough decision. Comb the archives. Share the spoils. Reopen the pit. That's not bad, but we have the choir awakens. The band began to play. Whoa, what's down here? Whoa, fate of the Federation. Nice. We have a lot to do and not a lot of time, maybe. The choir awakens. Why not? A song is echoing from the West. Many of our citizens have talked about the weird dreams or vivid hallucinations. Luciana Harjo has reported one such dream herself. The dream shows something terrible, but oddly alluring awakening. We must prepare. All right, so we've just finished the choir awakens, but unfortunately, We've got a way to do the last of the last patrol. So, because all core lands are the last patrol is owned by the Chain Choir, or their subjects or their allies, so we'll see what happens about that. Next up, light up the night, the family business. I kind of mind doing that. The pit boss, not bad. The black sheep, wow. Aspen, a lot more damage to garrisons on criminal element. Unrest in the house of light. Well, it sounds like I don't want to do that stuff yet, so I think we should keep going down this way. Schooling for everybody? Maybe we should do that. So, having a unified federation-wide education system will not only help us combat issues like poor literacy and an untrained workforce, but also will raise a new generation of bright minds that will accelerate our research projects. So this will also unlock for other people as well. If we complete this first, we get 25 extra political power, and I've already spent some of our political power on outside auxiliaries, as well as the Tulchinsky Engineering. Just because I want to be able to build, 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 I don't know how fast we'll actually be able to get to warfare, so... We want to build, 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 build as much as possible. Making a good amount of sport equipment, but we definitely need more guns. Oh my goodness. Loads and loads and loads of guns, but we need some fighters. Visions of an unknown woman. Oh boy. We received a report that last night, two hunters received what they called a vision. After a rather unsuccessful hunt, they were prepared to head home when they heard a strange or strange noises, seemingly coming from everywhere at once. Looking for the source of that noise, they spotted a woman that suddenly appeared like an illuminated shadow a few dozen meters away from them. She was wearing loose robes and carrying bundles of grain. Cautiously, the hunters approached her. Before they could get too close, she only said the words, Come to me, pointing westward. At this point, a map appeared next to her in thin air, looking similarly ethereal to her. The hunters said they were certain that it showed a location at the end of the Arkansas River. Then the woman dispersed again, or disappeared again, in a flash of light. The hunters ran back to their outposts as fast as they could to report what they had seen. There's already been a lot of discussion of what this vision means. The Choctaw storytellers say that this event bears a striking resemblance to one of our ancient legends. The Cherokee Council of Scientists and Engineers say the vision could be reasonably easily achievable, giving the right te technical know-how and resources, but all this means that someone went to great lengths to bring this message to us. Too much effort for this to be a simple trap. Even if it would be somewhat of an undertaking to make the trip, chances are the results will be worthwhile, even if we, even if just to satisfy our curiosity. Time to plan an expedition. And it seems like someone wants to overthrow our rule here. Oh boy. Last not very good, the Cherokee Nation. Uh, 176 days out of the 180 since the current faction leader assumed power. Oh, okay. They need more factories. So, a scoundrel's rock to Chickasaw. Muskegee Coalition, as the press has revealed that some of the Chickasaw Muskegee's coalition leaders are taking bribes in exchange for government favors. Brahmin ranchers, gun runners, and others have been abusing our nation for their own personal gain. Many critics wonder if Chickasaw Muskegee Coalition is worth dying for, but its leaders will tolerate this sort of misconduct. That's how we've always done it. We're just going to do that's fine. We're going to have political power for that. Let's just go and begin a scavenging program as well. That's a problem with having a freedom of speech and freedom free press. That you can find things that, uh, the politicians might not want you to know, but a slow evening. Not many guests, some evening, some events. They're too expensive to set up and didn't pull a big enough crowd. Some logistical troubles. It all just piles up. While not the end of the world, it did hurt the bottom line a little bit. On to the next day? Oh boy. Alright, so here's the deal. Like we have this thing, the casino payout. Investing in casinos and the surrounding, area, surrounding attractions will increase our income drastically. Be, be careful. Gambling is not just unreliable for the gambler. After we get uh, the next level of this stuff, which we will grab some warrior training. Let's see, number of fully running casinos, zero. Number of open roadside attractions, zero. You'll receive the payment or payout once every quarter, and the next one is expected on 10,000 bottle caps, barring unforeseen circumstances. Casinos gives more income than attractions, but attractions reduce the chance of bad events. Oh boy. Do you hear what I hear? If you listen to the heartbeat 
of a star, or the laughter of a tree, you might know the wonder and joy that comes from the choir. Their words, their melody, silent for so long, has grown in power. The first chorister loves the world despite all that it has done to wrong her. She just wants to share the joy to us with the rest of the world. Come and listen. I can't get it out of my head. Oh, like, wait. Why do we get that? We're not the Lost Patrol. I have played Lost Patrol before, and they're fun. It's kind of a... It's not an Easter egg nation, but it's a, it's a little fun nation to play as. I definitely would recommend them. Especially since a lot of people probably don't know about them, or they just don't really care since... I mean, this was pretty much a Texas update, but yeah, Oklahoma's pretty cool, too. The Soon Estate. And we're still mobilizing, which is pretty nice. And we have enough political power for this. Chief of the Army, Dustu Pathkiller. Not bad. Traditional values are Olman Arayado. Not bad, either. Warden and hang dogs. Uh, I do want to get down to here eventually. I want this save this political power for outsider battalions as well. We technically do have 34% war support, so that's not too bad. Outsider battalions, we're going to do it anyways eventually, so we might as well do that. So, schooling for everybody. Organized internal trade. Not bad. Resources of market, not great. Free trade between members. Um, which one do we want? Light up the night. Roadside. Oh, actually, you want to see what kind of happens when we go down this way. For this one. Ooh. Ooh. Do we have anything here? No. So I'd like to do the pit thing to see what's, what, this, what this is about. But I kind of want to do light up the night and see what happens. But it seems like maybe we can wait. Number of roadside attractions will increase the number of open roadside attractions. I kind of want to jump and do all the stuff as fast as possible over here. Anything else down here yet? No, and that's okay with me. All right, into the pit. Our shared education system was a good start, but we need a central place to send our best and brightest people to. The Plains Commonwealth Institute of Technology, no, no, colloquially known as the Pit. Well, such a place before the war, maybe we can make it one again if we manage to clear out all the raiders and rad roaches that have claimed it since, that is. Cool. Monthly population goes up by 25%, and training time goes down by 10% for a whole 100 days. Hopefully get an extra 30 days of preparations for the Pitterino. Cool. Another division? Awesome. And I did grab uh, a, just a random field marshal. Field marshal? Yeah. General, Field Marshal, whatever you want to call him. So, that does help out. We could do that, but we're going to wait. Uh, let's grab some motorized flight. If we're going to make planes, we must make good planes, right? Let's see. What do we want? Crusher's army. Anything else here? Not to... Oh, wait, look. Expedition westward. During the vision of the unknown woman, we received coordinates for a place a long way to the west. According to our maps, the easiest way to get there is if we would travel along the Arkansas River. Oh, this will take a while to prepare, though. Require funding. Provide manpower. Provide transportation and launch the expedition. All right, well, we can try it. Why not? We gotta get that last one done. It's still September 8th, so this stuff is not bad, but let's grab some resource production, maybe. Even though we're okay for now, let's just think about that for the future. 1.36 every single day is not great. That takes a 90 day focus, takes a while, but I don't know when the next focus will, or the next event will have for this. So, technology not too bad. Let's go and trainer guys, too. I would like to make these guys a little bit bigger. And actually, I think the next. Uh, well, we want the political power to spend, too. Out of supply. Let's go with Trenchman. I like Rooted. Rooted is pretty good, in my opinion. Provide transportation. So then, after that, the Reclamation Authority. Lushan Yaharjo has decided to construct a, a Reclamation Authority devoted to promoting scavenging in the wasteland. This will give our nation expertise in scouring the waste. The Old World Secrets will be ours, and... The Last Patrol did it. Nice job, guys. Full house tonight. Bobby and the Mute Fruits played in front of a filled house. Electric mix of ever so popular jazz interspersed with Louise Hunter playing his musical chainsaw on great appreciation from the audience. We already heard this one. While it's a small venue, the ticket sales and food and drink consumed will be nice. Bonus, encore, nice. Alright, so this is actually... Oh, this is not going to be real good. How is it? So we have... Oh, we need more soldiers. Holy crap. Um, Hopefully they don't go to war with us too soon because we need one, one, one. We need at least one here. So we have five divisions. Acquisition to the surface. All right, we're going to need more divisions, man. We definitely going to need more divisions. Hmm, we need to make more guns. Hmm, if that's a case, who here can help us make more guns? Support equipment that's there, which we are making. Reliability and soft attack goes down, but 25%. We can make 25% more quickly. Huh. After this one, I think we'll just go ahead and get more research speed next, actually. It's not that ahead of time, so that's pretty good. They have 10 out of the 18 factories they need, huh? After that one, we're just going to go ahead and grab this next one, too. Uh, well, I guess we're... Uh, well, basic tools, I guess. Get more cap and growth, which is could, could be worse. After motorized flight, though, I did want to do this one. Local workspaces, nice. Thank you very much. Alright, anything else to launch the expedition? Might as well, right? We got 30 days. Military signing bonuses might not be bad, either. Uh, end of the pit, my friends. And then... Actually, we get the extra... Maybe we didn't get the extra political power. Oh, 
Oh no, an additional 30 days of preparations for the pit. Clear out the raiders. An unpleasant fellow called himself the Lord of the Pit, and his gang have made their homes in the abandoned pit. Over the years, they made the former place of learning into a veritable fortress. A joint effort between our nations and militaries is necessary to oust him from that place. A tough decision. Oh boy. Nice, nice, nice. So we've got about a few weeks left for that. That ain't too bad. This should happen pretty quickly. And we already set these guys up to do well. Actually, don't do that, because I want to make another army right there. So three's okay, because the last patrol, they're about adjutant general christopher harrison about a thousand not bad they've oh, oh god that's a lot of divisions we do have five but oh, i hope we can hold but then again we do have allies so that's pretty good so that we guys we've got these guys right here too nice another one what's well, we got the pp for it i do this lincola red or read i swear i can read ninja's not bad i don't know which way we're going for the land option either huh recon hmm Hmm, asymmetric warfare. Well, technically we are civilized, so... Infantry defense... Well, we'll do that one anyways, because we can. Rowdy guests, not every guest here is to have a good time. Some are just here to cause trouble. Or maybe that is their definition of a good time. In any case, a group of intoxicated patrons decided to smash the windows of a local store, steal some goods on display, and then vandalize some streetlights along the route. Do you know how hard it is to get proper window pan? large enough in size for the window store? The street lights will be easy to repair, but it'll take some time to find some spare parts. Maybe happy hour wasn't such a great idea. As long as we make money from it. That's the most important thing, right? Oh, wait. Yo, that's, that's Scrapper's Camp Act. I'm like, wow, the same colors, huh? Calm beginnings, though. The first stretch of our journey has been rather calm so far. The weather is fine, and we're making good time towards the goal in the Arkansas River. Though we barely left Federation lands, this is to be expected, even beyond that point. The influence of the last patrol can still be felt, even if they are not as powerful as they once were, but soon we will travel into mostly unknown territory, and who knows what will happen there. Onwards and upwards. Sounds like the expedition of Lewis and Clark. Focus on the terms for That's not worth lowering our war spot for more stability, as much as I love it. I just don't think it's worth doing it that. that. Cool. Pursuant Lodge. We might need extra defense, but I do want to do... S oh, never mind. We have no research advisor. That sucks. That really sucks. And so getting the heck out of Dodge. We knew the column couldn't last forever. We were roughly a third of the way to our goal when we encountered what we think are the ruins of Dodge City. Not only were we slowed down by ruins of buildings having crashed into the river, we also noticed several corpses hanging on the few intact bridges that we crossed under. This put the guards already on edge. People mentioning spotting movement on the river shore didn't make it any better. Nothing happened for a while until a shot from a ruin took the head off a guard on the starboard side. The crew started to hunker down. Guards went into cover and exchanged fire with an enemy they couldn't actually see. The captain put some strain on the engines to get out of the area as fast as we could. Faster, faster, faster. It's not fast enough. Um, yeah, I'm not really not sure we can really do. We already did that. I don't mind going down with Military Academy training, but that's going to be for later. As well as Military Academy officers as well. But we lose political power for that, which really sucks. Yeah, that's not really great. Mm, I don't mind doing this, but even if we did Flyboy, we still don't make any military factories, so... Forging new paths. The river clearly went for some new or possibly old paths in the years since the war. We came across a partially flooded village that has now snaked its way through. The local wildlife was not particularly fond of us passing through it, but it didn't pose any real threat to us. Marlurks are hard to kill due to their thick shells, but their pincers could not pierce our ship holes. The Marlurk kings were a different thing altogether, but they were scarce enough to make among the regular Marlurks that we could pick them off early, before their sonic attacks could harm anyone. While no one was injured, we were happy to get past this area and into more open water again. It's roasted Marlurk tuna. That's a really cool artwork. Really cool. Corruption of the Big Spin. Um... Yeah, it's basically the same thing as before, and we just... Freedom of the press has severe consequences, man. Can I change this? Oh, we can. Muzzle descent, state press. I kind of like that for more daily compliance. That's actually not too bad, but I don't want to lose any more political power. Hmm. I'll go ahead and grab that too, because why not? Happy 2276, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Man, it seems like we're just taking forever to build stuff here. Oh my goodness, restocking. We spotted some untouched-looking buildings on our port side, including a supermarket and a hardware store. We decided to stop and look as if we could look if we could find some useful supplies in it. We indeed found some. We also found out that what we thought were a couple of dead bodies were instead a mass of feral ghouls in the resting state. The noises of our shopping trip well woke them up, and they began shambling towards us. We decided on a hasty retreat with way less loot than we planned on getting out of the market. Better hungry than dead. A tough decision. The Raider Gang holed up in the pit transformed the erstwhile place of learning into a maze of traps. Coupled with them being heavily armed, this means that well, we could take them out. We'll not be able to do so without heavy losses. We could try to reach with reason with them, but it's not guaranteed to succeed either, because Raiders rarely seem to listen to reason. Also, this may lead to them being aware of our designs for the place and dig in even deeper. Whatever we do, everyone needs to pitch in. We need a group decision of how to pro progress from here. Send our troops. Your decision might be overruled by the other two Federation members voting against you. We should send negotiators. 
I want to blast our way into there. Comb the archives. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Building technology. Very nice. Scavenging and recycling. Share the spoils. Uh, two scrap. Let's go comb the archives. Why did the pit staff decide to store so much data on punch cards? We get the feeling that the pit was seriously underfunded if they couldn't even afford at least some consumer grade holodisc machines. The punch cards are beyond any attempt to salvage them, but the few holodiscs they had luckily survived intact. We should distribute them among the Federation so they can be used as efficiently as possible. Punch cards? Like what my dad used in college back, like, de literally decades ago? Holy crap, that is... Wow. But then again, that makes sense, you know. But jeez. Well, we try to negotiate. What the heck? Sending in our troops to just die to make shift explosives and hidden spike traps does not seem like a good way to solve the issue, especially if we can do so without loss of life. Maybe if we extend the same courtesy, that of not losing their lives, to the lord of the pip, and as good as we can come to an agreement that satisfies both parties. Approaching this with a small team of negotiators showing a white flag, and hopes that the raiders knew what that means was the tensest moment of the whole operation. Surprisingly enough, they were not shot immediately and actually managed to get a parlay started. This led to the Lord of the Pit and his men giving up the pit to us, as long as we promised them no repercussions for anything they did while being in the raiding business in a permanent place in our ranks. This actually may benefit us in the long run in different ways. More people capable of handling weapons is always good, also. While crew of the defense showed an impressive level of ingenuity, which we surely can apply to other construction efforts. And the Lord of the Pit himself is a capable leader managing to keep the Raider gang together for multiple years. I guess we made some new friends today, huh? Okay, so maybe I was wrong. Maybe we shouldn't go blasting in. Who is this person? Oh, Lord of the Pit. S-P-E, huh. That's cool. Better general than some of our own generals. Nice. Well, I'm glad we didn't blast them yet. But maybe we'll still do that later on. The audience! We finally arrived at what we thought was our destination. We were greeted by a small group of tribals seeming to have expected us, surprisingly enough, accompanied by Mr. Handy Robot. They accompanied us to a grand hall that housed a giant woman. She was resting on something obscured by smoke and strange lights, but it was clear that if she would stand up, she would tower over many a building. This was definitely the woman that our hunter saw in the night. Some of the scientifically minded people in our group quickly pointed out the projector's place in the corners of the room. We could assume that the vision we received was done in a similar vein, though it is not quite clear where the origin of the projection was from during that event. The talk with the goddess Diana. As the tribal's called her was pleasant, but we could not shake the feeling that she expected us to be more deferring and awed by her presence than we were. What we were impressed was by the by was the reason she brought us here. Horses. Honest to God, horses. They're pretty sure there weren't any around anymore. She basically confirmed that suspicion by saying that these horses were specifically produced to survive the wastelands by some machines hidden away in a secret place. And they were a gift to us. We had to quickly figure out the logistics of putting them on our boats somehow and keeping them safe on the long trek back home. And also, some doubts became loud among crew and expedition members about why she would gift us something like this. What were her motives? We're not sure and hope she won't ask for a favor in return at some point. Doesn't, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. That's a really good uh, picture, too, which I use as the, the thumbnail when I played as a goddess Diana or twin mother. It's a real fun campaign. Uh, oh, Raider Tactics. Atoa Fry. Free. All right, I'm, so I'm kind of glad I was overruled. Sometimes it's good to be overruled. See what other people are saying, I guess. Uh, the Pursuant's Annex. Cool. Spy Master. I think for one of these, I want to go with a D Division Tech and Defense. Yeah, you get more tech, you get more defense. That's pretty nice. Clay working. Oh, we'll take that. Natural disasters. If you'd like to read about this, it happens every campaign. It is what it is. Actually, how many caps do we have? I don't want to lose caps, but I don't want to lose manpower. So, manpower is actually pretty precious. We can always make more money. So, it's fine. Man, I got a real creaky desk, don't I? Local workspace is pretty darn nice. Let's grab some plant cultivation, maybe. I would like a fourth research slot, but nah, it is what it is, right? One, da, 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 da. One division here is not great. Uh, you guys can go right there. Oklahoma City, never been. Maybe we'll go someday. Maybe I'll go, but you never know. Economic advisors, we don't... Actually, we, oh, let's not ask questions. One of our recent guests is a shady individual who seems to come up from north. After a few drinks in, she mentioned she's from the Midwest Brotherhood and has a few. And she has some, seen some stuff, man. We didn't ask many questions because she was mostly harmless and tipped well, but what the heck is a ca Calliope Queen? Can't be any worse than gibbering choir, I guess. Hey, it is what it is. See your Hidden Valley? Cool. Traditional values, new expansion, black sheep, new expansion. Yeah, I think we have to wait for all this stuff. Crusher's army's gone. Goodbye, Crusher's army. Chief of the military. I don't know, man. I kind of want to keep open to traders because that just seems like the right thing to do for this. Because we want to make as much money as possible. I think for this one, I might just go support equipment. Guys, that's pretty nice. Medical technology. I don't know if you use that, though. I'll do it anyways. Why not? We got plenty of political power, right? Oh, oh we got made another division. Nice. Now, these guys will attack us eventually. I'm not sure when, but I'm pretty sure they do have a focus to take us out eventually. Casino Royale, there you go. Yep, 
we need to greatly offend them. Or no, they had to. Oh, that's right. I remember when I played as these guys that we offended the, this nation here and kind of pissed people off. It happens. I wish we could do both of them. Whatever. Cool. Oh, got some more technology done. Thank you very much. Decode signals. Thank you. Call them the archives and then. Anything else? Nope. Share the spoils. We found a couple prototypes and improved versions of everyday use machinery and devices from the before the war. While the machines themselves didn't work anymore, we did learn some valuable lessons from dismantling and expecting them. Oh, someone else has started this. Okay. Interesting. If that's the case... Ooh, boom, look at that. We get courses. Um... Well, who's doing this This one, then? Addressing the local situation. So it's these guys. They're sharing the spoils. How many days are they in? About maybe a th 30 days in? So that takes 90 days. So a 60 day focus. Wouldn't well, that be bad? We can do horses. Train the outriders. That sounds kind of cool. Let's get some horses. I've never used horses in World War Blues before. The expedition was hard, not without its losses. But we prevailed and we brought something home with us that has not been seen for almost 200 years at all. Horses, live and breathe in horses, bred specifically to survive in these harsh environments. Long before the war, our people adapted so quickly to them to be renowned for their skill with horses. We will do so again. Very nice. I love them horses. Uh, outside battalions, not bad. Where's the militias? We can go here. I mean, part of me wants me to also save some political power. Because in the future, we're going to need it. Wow, we gotta go to seven. Wow, holy cow! Just because we're gonna have to core all of the last patrol, unless we get that as free cores. But I don't know if we do or not. So deco signals are pretty darn nice, I'd say. Let's grab some encoded signals. Very, very nice. And the plant cultivation. Let's go ahead and grab some what? Biplane fighters. Why not? Right. There you go. Very, very good. Very, very good. So one point three six. Is there anything else we could do here for money or stability? No. Gosh darn it. That sucks. Well, that would be kind of a waste. But this would be even more of a waste. Oh, full house. If you'd like to read about that again, please go right ahead. And, you know, whatever. We'll just do it anyways because we have it. There you go. We don't have to worry about that for the rest of the campaign. All right, clay working is pretty darn nice. Let's grab some flexible designs because we can. And soon we'll have the boom. Boom, 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 boom. And we're going to see that someone's going to finish this off first, too. Very, very good. Oh, we got horses. And someone else should be doing this, right? Okay, reopen the pit. With a great celebration, the Plains Commonwealth Institute technology was reopened to the public today. The leaders of the Allied Nations are on all attendance to applaud this great leap forward for the Federation. The first batch of new students was already waiting in front of the gates to begin learning. The future is within our grasp. Ooh, 10% sharing bonus. Nice. The nation that completes this gets... 1% more research speed for 60 days. That's not really great, but we're going to do it anyways. Well, we've just reopened the pit, and maybe we'll get a little special event, but we got one more percent research speed with eager new students. And now that we've finished this, well, I guess it's time to maybe light up the night. The casinos we run eat up a lot of power with all their lights and machines, so, so much so that we often get brownouts in either the casino, casino themselves or other areas of the city. We need to rig up a couple more generators to keep that from happening. Which would be a good thing to do. Uh, let's see, we actually get more money from this. Nice. That's actually pretty good. We got some biplane fighters done. Let's go grab some of those as well. Even though we can't make any. Oh, horses here. Look at that. Nice. And public projects. We did some of these early on just because we can. So we have literally like blueprints or, you know, blueprints so we can research things a little bit faster. How many more? Three 50% research speed and one year ahead of time reductions for some of our industries, which is not bad. We got 202 political power, which is pretty good, I would say, as well. And, yeah, let's focus on casinos and attractions and stuff like that. Uh, they need more manpower deployed, and they need more factories. Well, I mean, yeah, they have a number of factories. We're trying to produce an, more factories, period, so. Vehicle designer, I guess we do aircraft companies. I mean, we're going to get it done anyway, so we might as well. Naval designers, that would be complete waste right now, so. But I don't want to buy these guys either. And we can't buy anything one here yet, so we'll wait and see. So I guess we might as well do a card, moon rise. If we're going to use anybody, it's going to be tanks, so it'll be what it'll be. Light up the night, and then a oh, more for this. Metalworking's not bad. But after light up the night, so I am, we got to wait to this, addressing the local situation. Family business will be fun. Cabin, cab driver once more down the street. 40 miles of bad road. Oh, boy. Well, 
I would do Red River Casino. A traditional casino with all the machines and tables you expect. It was famous before the war for being the largest casino in the Plains Commonwealth. Investing in it will bring a dis disused wing of the casino back into full use. Increasing the floor space of the casino by almost 50 whole percent. In which we do get another civilian workshop. And we get a full running casino, which would be kind of cool. Hopefully we make more money that way. Get more construction speed. That's almost not even ahead of time. But let's grab this one instead. Research speed is super, super, super important. Cool, and we're still trying to build more civilian factories in the Big Spend. A negative review from the Ghoul Travel Guide. Apparently, we, we kicked out a ghoul for smelling, not tipping well, and cheating at cards. We didn't realize they worked for the Ghoul Travel Guide, actually. According to our, the guide, one of our bartenders was a bigot and kicked him out for smelling. Maybe we should have checked with other employees before throwing him out. Quick, hire a new head of non-human resources. We lose some caps. You can see his instructions pay out 10,000 bottle caps anyways. Okay. Oh. Alright, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Okay, we got plenty of sport coming, but we don't have enough army XP, which is a little disappointing. I want to get four. Eh, let's get four here and throw the rest of the guys over here. Because I don't know how strong our divisions will be. They might just attack all willy-nilly, which would not be a lot of fun. And ruin their manpower and probably doom us to death. Which wouldn't be a lot of fun, but... And eh, naval design canoes, canoes. Canoes? Yeah, why not? Oh, back at workshops. Great. Beautiful, my friends. Let's see, three years ahead of time. Might as well get some tax breaks, standardized tools, so we can get even more output. Come on, build, 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 build. Now, so we're up to 13, which isn't bad. Actually, we have 40% world tension. We still can't do a well equipped army, which really sucks. But 20 days left. Uh, we'll do tri plane attackers. So after, oh, happy 2277, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Let's see, here will be two years ahead of time. That'll be less than a year. Uh, actually, what if we do this? Oh, we can do it now. We'll probably want to get some basic weaponry. Eh, we want to prove what we have already. I think we might just go with radio. I mean, I'm not going to... Even if... Oh, we can't do it yet. If, even if we... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not like we can actually produce that, though, yet. You know? Nice. Roadside attractions. Every roadside attraction you open increases your casino payout slightly and reduces the chance of bad events. We get more civilian workshops, though. Uh, we could try that. Why not? The casinos are not the only things that will bring people to travel here. There are many smaller places along the route that will attract tourists and keep them in the areas, which would be not too bad. So, we do need to kick the guy out of here. We have 142, which is not bad. Political bribes, huh? Oh, look at that. You'll receive the payout once every quarter, and the next one is is, is expected to be 20,000 caps. Barring unforeseen circumstances, we have one fully running casino. God, I'm glad I'm playing this nation. I hope we can get some more casinos. Oh, look at this. Riders. They are considered special forces. That's kind of cool. 12. Wow. That's really not bad. Max speed is 12 kilometers per hour. We're starting to run out of manpower, though. 10 combat width. Soft attack is 16. 27 for roughly double. Um, so, 9 defense. These guys have 9.7, 6.6. Breakthrough. This, those horses have better breakthrough. Stronger, soft, slightly stronger soft attack, same heart attack, supplies is 0.12, supplies is a little bit, quite a bit less, suppression is less, these are guys are really good for suppression, organization is 25, or H, I mean it's HP each, organization is plus 0.2, you actually lose organization, these guys have higher organization actually, uh, piercing plus 0.3, piercing, they actually lose this piercing, lose this reliability, wow, yeah, I think I want to use horses. We'll try to use the riders, but we want to first maybe establish... Eh, you can get one. Get one for now, only one, just because... You know, don't even make them, don't even make them. I want to save guns. One, we can actually make the riders, we're going to use them for realsies, so... Let's just wait to use them. And that's not our questions. Cool. Alright, cool. Very nice. Just keep paying us more money. Oh, actually, military signing bonuses wouldn't be bad. Construction speed, though... Oh, I kind of like that construction speed. I, it's only 7%, though. 7% more? That's not really worth it. 15 with the manpower. We could probably use that. And we'll do it anyways. 15 for every 270 days. So, 270 days. Let's take. A, let's do some math. I've done this before, but I can't remember now. 270 days divided by 7. That's roughly 38 and a half. So, I'll say 38 for the funsies. 38 times 15 equals about 570 manpower. That's every week. So 38 and a half weeks. So that's about 570 manpower for 150 caps. Is that worth it? Well, that's up for you, for you to decide. For us right now, m maybe not, but hey, it's still done, whatever. 
Okay, so seriously, land doctrine. Uh, let's take a look here. Do we get any bonuses to doctrine? Or are we just focus on money? The choir awakens. Special forces doctrine. Ancestral ways. Okay. Adaptation doctrine. Adaptation doctrine. Looking for closure. I get one. So it doesn't even matter. Huh. Hmm. Alright. Interesting. Well, world's largest peanut. Rita's Cafe. The Pops. You know, let me know in the comments below. Should we use 40 miles of bad roads? Or a cab driver once more down the streets? But I think I want to go with the world's largest penis for now. We travel a large bro we found a travel brochure mentioning that the world's largest penis was supposed to be in the area. That sounds exciting, so we sent out a team to find it. Turns out the actual thing is slightly underwhelming, but hey, at least it's small enough for the two people to carry it and has an attraction, and an attraction is still an attraction. I wonder if any of you guys are actually I'm sure some of you guys are from Oklahoma. I'm sure some of you guys have to be, right? Do you actually have like the world's biggest peanut there or something like that? Batter Pooper Dan, there you go. Nice, nice, nice. And Legion always loses. Always loses. I think they're hard-coded to lose. Like, even when I play as Legion, we still lost. When, you know, I gave the uh, Malpaya Slugget, I think. The best soldiers that we, that we currently had, so. Yep. Old wall, wall holds. Unfortunate for them. Quite unfortunate. Chief of the Army. Could just raise conscription level. We might as well. I mean, at this point, there's no... There, uh, we lose, eh, we lose 3% construction speed. It's not that much. Local leaders. Eh, survival training. That'd be kind of nice. Ooh, nice. Good, 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 good. Let's grab some military training for more defense, because we definitely going to need more defense. Oh, baby. Now, I'd love to get to the next level of guns, but it takes more time to build those guns, so we're going to have to wait on that. Yeah, four divisions here is going to be good enough. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to the war against us and the uh, last patrol, but even though I actually really am. I really am looking forward to that. And that's, uh, we could just stockpile a lot of political power. But we'll do one more focus before we end the episode, shall we? Three Nations Trade Center, not bad, not bad. Support of our people, not bad. Free trade, I love it. Bright lights, and of course, safety. Yeah, that's pretty nice. It's, it's good being safe sometimes. Just keep building, 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 building. June 11th, and why do we keep losing factories? Funding the army. Wait, we're funding the army? Oh, yeah, we need to get up to there. We're still only 40%. Whoa. Or sport, which sucks, but whatever. World's largest peanut. Very nice. Very nice. Ad planned horse breeding. I want to do that one. Train the outriders. But I think we should probably begin doing addressing the local situation. If we want to continue to improve, we need to curry favor with one or all of the major groups in the nation. We have some options on how to accomplish this. We can get a total of 12 sports. Cool. Ah, screw it. We'll do one more focus after this anyways. Why not? We'll do that one. And then we'll do the family business, which... Or we'll just read it. Yeah, I think we'll just read this one. So, my name is Lushanya Harjo. My family has been one of the leading groups of our people since before what our forefathers have called the smoke and the fire. We were the first to be out of the bunkers and we were the first to reopen on one of the great casinos in the area. That is our legacy and I will build on that legacy. The kitchen of the old Bolfanga has gotten a recipe for a new dish called Cranberry Meatball Grinder from a caravan coming from the east. While the cook says the original recipe requires meat from something called a Scorch Beast. Which nobody here has ever heard of. It does taste pretty darn well with some, just some regular Brahmin meat. The first batch sold really well, and we have arranged for the caravan to supply us with all the necessary ingredients we don't have locally. Enjoy your meal. Oh, 25,000. Look at that. Nice. Oh, cool. Awesome. I love I love this. I love making more money. Scorch Beast. I remember that from like Fallout 76 when I played that game. Uh, those are really hard to kill. But regardless, hope you enjoyed the first episode of us playing as... The Chickasaw Muskiki Coalition. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. When we have a great time, hopefully defending against that there last patrol. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.